Papi, mwah, mwah, mwah. Papi, mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> this is just me trying to tell you guys that what Z and Papi had together. <laughs> I do not think there's going to be a stop to their kissing and all this thing. You know, I actually loved their moments <laughs> at the closet this morning. <laughs> hey, babies, and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shosley, Mimi, where you got a gist. I see they do waiting. I see they hurt. Of course, you know, there's no sleeping on the bicycle on this channel. If it snows, you do what? you lose are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you still sitting on a far long fame kindly post right there subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell if not tell me how do you want to get a gist brewing from the cooking pot like how do you want to get a gist i see the heart so guys yeah I, I stumbled across where people were saying that at this point in time i did i think the best thing is um for papa ghost and um, lerato to have an open relationship because it may seem as though they are in a ship and their eyes are also outside so papa ghost was having this conversation with else the other day about you know having knocking in the house you know so papa ghost was like if you and i were kind of close you think something would have happened between the two of us you know and then else was like she do not think she would knock with any dude in this house you know that she has barely seen uh barely, uh, she said she has barely seen few <clears throat> few bells <laughs> oh, like oh, okay <laughs> when i say bells you know that thing that jingles between that fat long thing and hair hey, that is what else was saying that <laughs> guys why am i laughing you know i'm still a virgin so i don't need to be talking about all these things but it's this housemate that is actually spoiling me so ever says she has barely seen few jingles like jingle bell all her life that she can even draw jarrets on i'm like okay <laughs> well how be like bicycle anyways guys else has said that she's not in the house to knock but she's in the house to do what obviously to kiss all right meanwhile do you think papa ghost and lerato should have an open relationship now talking about open relationship first off <clears throat> so yesterday at the pool party omo yolanda enjoyed that pool party the more most she was kissing with you this one is on ND kissing and the way housemates were shouting Makeke's name, Makeke, Makeke, Makeke. Makeke was busy playing the uh, playing with Slerato inside the pool, you know. And then this girl, Yolanda, and Willie were kissing back to back, back to back. So after all the shenanigans that happened at night, of course, um, Yolanda was so drunk last night that she dozed off. It was even um, Mark Jr. that came to cover her up, you know. So now in today yolanda wants to talk to makeke and makeke is not even giving her the room to talk to her you know so she was like trying to tell makeke when would you want to talk to me makeke said just leave me alone <laughs> oh my word guys this house made dope the way they share they share kiss like take away like take away gifts take take souvenir take 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 papi <laughs> So, guys, my keke was like, just don't talk to me. Yolanda was like following him and said, when do, should I talk to you? My keke said, don't, I don't want to talk. And Yolanda was like, so you don't want me to talk to you ever again? My keke said, yes, don't talk to me. Now, the question is, you think this is the end we're going to be seeing my keke and Yolanda banter? You know, I enjoy listening to the two of them. I would just be laughing. Or do you think my keke will come down later and then they would have a conversation? Whichever ways, we are all in for it. Meanwhile, from Yolanda's end, it may seem as though she purposely did whatever she was doing with Willie because she said Makeke came to her because she was the only available person that Makeke first went to Neo and Neo did not give him the room, went to Sami M, Sami M did not give him the room, you know, and now went to Mile, Mile did not so... He did not also get a chance with Mile. Now he is coming to him. That means she was the only available option. That was why he came. He did not come to her because of he really wants her. That was what Yolanda actually said, though. If if that was the reason, I think I, I, I understand her, right? I understand. You know, just when you are like you are the only option, that's why I'm here. That, how would you feel? So that was why she did whatever she did with Willie, because she feels Makeke did not come to her from the onset. Yolanda helped, um, what was her name, Liema to unbraid her hair, to lose her hair. We are having a new look on Liema. Like, this girl is so cute, I beg. I don't know why she's not carrying herself like that. She's beautiful. 
She should know her words, baby girl. Anyways, guys, uh, so uh, we all know what's up with Liema. She lost her granny. May her soul continue to rest in the Lord Borsum. So Biggie had actually called her in the diary room to confirm her decision to either stay or leave the Siamosha house. So while Biggie called her in the diary room, Biggie asked her, you um you know about your, your the demise of your granny and what you were told to think about it 24 hours if you want to stay or you leave, you know. So Biggie said, now, I think you've had enough time to think about it. Are you staying or are you leaving? And then she said, Biggie, I have to think about that. I thought of it and I think my family would want me to stay. My granny would want me to stay in the game and, you know, win this for them so i'm gonna stay in this game because of them i don't want to leave biggie so now guys it is official liema is not leaving the nzanze house the siamosha house so um liema said she's going to stay and be focused now the question is i am actually emphasizing on that focus will baby girl focus now that is the question coming from the baby big brother nzanze page sis has had it with jared bertuna we are wondering if this is an official breakup or if Jared will find his way back into Mankulu's heart or will else and Pumi be enough for him? <laughs> what is their conversation here? So here is what happened, guys. Um, Liema, remember, Jared tried to have conversation with Liema yesterday, trying to tell her that, oh, uh, bro, you know, I told you I will be sincere with you. I actually did this with else, blah, blah, blah. And Liema, do not even care to listen to him. Liema was like, do you? I do not care anymore. So um, even Liema last night did not sleep in their room that is downstairs yes she did not sleep there she slept upstairs that is how serious it was you know with her bible she slept upstairs you know with her bible beside her so this um, morning she had conversation with jared and she said jared is actually heartless like he is indeed a mean person that jared has actually showed her how much he do not like her because she has been letting him do his thingy, kiss whoever he want to kiss, everything he has been doing. He had his freedom. But why is it difficult for him to actually respect a day in her life where she needed him most, you know, at least to comfort her because of the, the demise of her granny? But no, he actually could not even keep that day special for her and just make her feel okay. No, he could not do that. You know, that, that was actually bad. But truly, <laughs> this guy has shown this girl Tati. I don't know what she's waiting for again, whether she's waiting for 31. You know, she, she, he has actually showed her the reason why she needs to just keep to herself and just be a high hello thing with him. But will Liema listen? You know, will Liema really listen? That is the thing. So she told Jerry that there is nothing to fix here. I do not think we need to fix anything here because the way I see you right now, I see you in a different form. Like, I see you from a dark side, you know? And when somebody actually said that, she was down while saying this. Truly, she felt that way. But the thing is, will she be able to cope? When her lips start scratching her now, she'll go and look for Jari to kiss. When they have other guys there that she can actually kiss, if kiss, they hungry her. If she want to wet her lips, she has places she would have wet her lips. But no, she will still go to Jared. If, I will not even compare her to me because she can never be me in terms of when it comes to be strict. Because I am a strict person on a normal level. Like, <laughs> I am so strict. Like, I, 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 I don't take bullshit at all. Not, not even close to, you know. So, um, even if it is a game or not, I, there, is a, there is a limit to what anyone could take, you know. But it is what it is, right? So, she told um, Jared to just day his day just be just do your thing i think you think um you've shown me how much you care for me you saw how i was feeling and you now said you want to make my life more miserable you have to do whatever you do right that was what she said she now said what a beautiful story it is that was what Liam said meaning that he is into the heartless being but truly mpumi even observed a special day for Liema. like mpumi could not operate last night and then why didn't jared respect that <laughs> You see, Boobie is even of a better person because she actually considered Liema at least <laughs> to give her a break. Oh, but guys, it's a joke. You see this game? It is actually an interesting one. Last night, and when she was actually on her own having conversation with Mark Jr., it may seem as though we'll be looking forward to Mark Jr. and Liema with midnight chats always now because it's actually interesting. And then Liema was telling Mark Jr. that, you, you, you guys are lucky I did not come into this house with paradise. And then... Mark Jr. was like, who is Paradise? And she said it is, she don't know her, that it's her alter ego. You guys know what alter ego means. It means your other person. You know, your other person who could do the things you don't do. 
your other person in a different form. That is what she means. She said she's thirsty, she's mean, she's naughty, she do things and do not send or think while doing things. That is her alter ego, you know. If you don't really understand my explanation about alter ego you can just go google it and type alter ego you would understand and even see example join okay google is always our friend you know <laughs> so yeah she was having that gist i enjoy mark jr and Liam's gist so much i did enjoy it you know though after a while they went to mama ghost and papa ghost where they were talking about mark jr um mama ghost was like mark jr would definitely go anytime he is up now the question is do you think mark jr would go anytime he is up because mama ghost said it is just um, immunity that is making him safe. If not, what's he long? Do you think so? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Meanwhile, on the other hand, while fans and netizens complain about how Nema is playing her game with everything Jari would do to her, she would go back to Jari, blah, blah, blah. Then someone came and said, Nema said she is here to escape reality and have fun. So please allow her to do the crazy stuff she wants to do. This is her first and only experience. Immediately I saw this person's tweet. I went straight to watch the video. And truly, guys, she said in her video that she's escaping reality and she's in this house to do the things she would not do normally in reality you know i think at a point if these housemates are playing their game i think it will definitely help us all to go watch their videos their introduction video and what they think say they want to do in the house their gameplay and everything because that was how i watched els own else said in her own interview that relationship will not rest though that she don't want to see any relationship blossom i don't know why she's not looking at papa goes them own it's only jared that everyone is targeting Elle said it in her own introduction that she would not want to see any relationship goes on, that she's there to scatter relationships. So I think this housemate, they actually told us what they want to do. And it's so sweet to see that they said it on their introduction and they are doing it in the house. Not like some of these baby Nigerian, you would hear them make mouths. They will not play it in the house. That's why I keep saying those housemates, they know how to play the game, you know. But what do you think? So I think Lema is maybe playing her game because on a normal in real life, she would not do this. Normally, a normal person should not even do what she's doing in real life because it is not normal at all. Why would a sane person want to go back to the person who treat them like trash? Nobody, not even you, not even anybody else would want to take that. Okay, though some people are used to taking shit, right? Coming from Daniela, the Liema they wanted, but my girl said, no, you cannot predict me. I must flip the script. And really, it's how much we've not really seen her cry. It just wants... You know, we just saw her with the tissue, then Pumi came through, whatever. But that aside, coming from Comrade Attitude, please, someone should help me video Mile. <laughs> Anytime she speaks, she hasn't spoken more than four times since this show started. <laughs> I know the funny thing, she is still in the house, more than the people who has been talking, who has been showing up and all of that. So that's the game for you. She is actually one of the lucky ones this season. All right, Jared with his first and second. Okay, first and oh no, no, second and third wife because first is Liema. The first one is at the far end of the kitchen. Is she still the first wife? I don't even know. Meanwhile, Jared said something. Jared said this game in this big brother game that love doesn't make anybody win. Maybe that's why he's doing all of this thing. Now the question is, has he been watching the show? That is the question. <laughs> Anyways, guys, would see hope his game would make him win. Or make him get to top five okay because i will be happy to also see him till the very end and see his role because guys this game we still have like months to go so yeah mpumi actually he actually told mpumi because mpumi told him i don't know whether it's joke or reality or whatever but mpumi told him that um you're using me to play games something like that and then jared was telling mpumi that i don't like it bro that he had to tell me that it hurt though he hurt <laughs> he hurt bro <laughs> Mpumi was like, no, she was joking about that. I'm like, yo, Jared, in what's this girl's name again? That's how she calls him. What's this fine girl name? Z, Jared. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll be dropping my voice right here. And now to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Bye for now, babies.